Asian nation of Pakistan is currently witnessing one of the worst weather events in many, many years. Flash floods triggered by heavy monsoons have killed more than a thousand people and have displaced millions across Pakistan. And according to estimates that have come in, at least about half the territory of Pakistan is now set to be underwater. Floods have impacted various regions such as Hyderabad, Sukur and Jacobabad. Meanwhile, in Khyber Pakhtunwa and the Punjab province in Balochistan, many regions have been really badly affected. Now, according to reports, about 50 million people have been affected so far. And Pakistan's Disaster Management Agency has said that about 4,000 kilometers of roads and around 200 bridges and over 700,000 homes have been washed away or destroyed in these rains. Now, the government has deployed the army and other troops to help them in the rescue and relief operations. Now, Balochistan's regional capital, Quetta, has been cut off from the rest of the country as the floodwaters have swept away the highways and bridges in the region and large parts of Balochistan continue to remain submerged. In the northwest of the country, thousands of people had to flee from their homes after the rivers in the Khyber Pakhtunwa province burst their banks, resulting in powerful flash floods. And the rising flood waters in the province's Sawat Valley has also caused a luxury hotel to collapse. Meanwhile, a key bridge near the town of Charsada was swept away after relentless downpours submerged parts of the region and thousands of residents had to flee their homes after the flood waters gushed into their houses. And our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik in fact spoke with some of the key officials in the region who are carrying out the relief work and they have given us the latest update on the situation. This is a humanitarian uh, uh, problem crisis and uh, it has affected uh, millions of people and uh, all across, up to uh, Sindh. So, uh, Balochistan is in a bad shape, Sindh is in a bad shape, parts of uh, uh, Punjab, even Gilgit, Baltistan. So, we have a crisis all over the country and this is a major crisis which uh, this government is facing. So, it has to be in collaboration both the provinces and the uh, uh, federal government, they have to uh, collaborate with each other and only then can we uh, really uh, face this issue. Uh, there is no casualty so far reported and uh, because people have been evacuated timely uh, uh, and uh, uh, people, uh, some people are not, uh, because people are not aware of the situation, so some people are not helping and they are not cooperating with us. But uh, Alhamdulillah administration has taken the situation very uh, uh, carefully. The Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif on Saturday visited the flood affected areas in the Sindh province and has appealed for the rich people in Pakistan to help the poorer brethren. He's also announced free medical treatment and relief worth about $113 to each household that's been affected in the floods. कल भी मैंने अपील की थी आज पर मैं अपील करूंगा साहेब हैसियत लोगों को पंजाब के सिंध के बलूचिस्तान के केपीके के कि वो आगे बढ़ें कारोबारी हजरात जो सनतकार हजरात जिनको अल्लाह ताला ने दौलत से माला माल किया है वो आए आगे बढ़ें इस वक्त दुखी इंसानियत का हाथ थाम लें and also Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has asked for international help in battling the deadly floods and the damage that, that has been caused. And according to reports, the Pakistani government is to launch a flash appeal to the United Nations to help them fight this crisis. This after the government declared a state of national emergency in the country. Now, the United Nations Central Emergency Response Fund has already allocated a princely sum of a staggering $3 million to the Pakistani government to provide a relief to the people who have been affected in these floods.
And our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, who visited the flood affected areas of Nausheda and Khyber Pakhtunwa, has sent us this quote from one of the relief camps in the region. Previously, a college that has now been converted into a makeshift camp for flood victims. You see, there's scores of children that lie around. The families who are lying around, they've been taken care of by the government and my, mostly by relief organizations, by people, those who can donate, those who have the capacity to donate, those who have the capacity to look after. And they're in a deplorable condition. These pictures, they speak volume. This young child, he speaks volume. This, uh, this picture of him just being here it speaks volume for the fact on the amount of damage and destruction that has been there the families have left behind everything literally left behind everything and they've just moved uh, they say that their houses become inundated it was impossible for them to live here and that is the reason they are now here forced to take refuge in this makeshift camp that has been set up by the government anas malik in north share of pakistan for beyond world is one what you see behind me is all water and uh, this is the water that is flowing in from the Kabul river. This used to be a village. It's uh, the Khishki area of Naushara city and it's completely inundated until wherever you see it's all water and uh, this is a uh, car is uh, almost uh, floating as well. Um, this, this actually explains the amount of destruction caused by these floods. Now this has a population of roughly about uh, 12,000 people, this village, the Khishki village. And uh, the situation here remains dire as we speak. The people have been rescued. There have been a couple of injuries, fortunately no deaths, but the people complain that uh, due to the lack of supplies that they have, that they are yet to get and the government has not been able to provide. Therefore, they complain that uh, the adequate relief supplies should be made provision to them, should be made, made available to them at the earliest. Anas Malik in Noshera, Pakistan for Beyond World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.